I've had my laser cutter here for about seven months now and I really like it. It took me a while to get things tuned in and get it to where it was working consistently and I have a whole video on how I did all that and my kind of like my thoughts on the machine. But now I want to do something else with it. I want to make another modification and that has to do with the height adjustment inside the machine. So this is the inside of the K40 laser. It doesn't look this way when you get it from the factory. I've already made a couple modifications. I have new mirrors and a new lens. I have an air assist and I have a drag chain here on the inside that the air assist runs through. I know a lot of people are going to say I have the drag chain attached to the wrong place, but um, I have it attached this way for reasons I'm not going to go into right here, but it works for me. It's just a little bit inconvenient having to slide the piece under the drag chain when I cut, but um, it doesn't bother me too much. The one thing I'm changing in this video here is this, the little scissor lift that is adjustable. And that allows me to put different thickness materials in here to etch, cut, whatever it is I'm going to do with the laser. Right now it just kind of floats in here and moves around. And it kind of works, but it's not really dependable. And it doesn't support the material on here very well. So there's two things I want to do. I want to make this semi-permanent. I want to have a larger piece on top that will support the entirety of the cutting area. And I want to extend the little knob here to go run all the way to the outside of the machine that I could adjust it here. So about two or three steps, should be able to get it done. Let's get started. And before I do that, I want to give credit where credit is due because this is not originally my idea for what I'm about to do my laser cutter. It comes from Wes Wayne at Geeksmithing. So I'm hoping he doesn't mind too much that I'm kind of borrowing his idea and making a video out of it, but let's go ahead and do the change. A little small problem I ran into when trying to set all this up. This is the side, you can probably see right there, that I'm trying to extend to be outside of the laser cutter so I can kind of adjust the knob and adjust the height of the little scissor lift. But because of the height that this sits at, it was going to run directly into a couple of pieces like angle iron or whatever the material that is inside. I wasn't going to be able to drill through it. And this really isn't something that I want to do any angles on or anything kind of fancy. I want it pretty much to be a straight line and kind of an easy fix that way.
I think I got this figured out. I'm not gonna be able to mount the scissor lift this way because of everything that it runs into. And the vertical height that the knob travels is gonna run into too many things over here. But if I simply turn it this way, I should be able to extend this to the outside of the laser and have it work there. There is enough free space underneath this bar here because of the downward slope of the laser that it should be able to work correctly. So all I have to do is extend this, drill through the outside and make sure that I'm careful of the wires and the mirrors. Conceptually it sounds easy. It should be, but let's see if I can do that without fouling things up too much. All right, so I got the initial hole drilled through the outside of the casing, and I'm using this scrap bolt slash rod, I guess, to extend from the scissor lift to the outside of the case. I tried a couple different methods of attaching the bolts together, and none of them quite worked. I tried epoxying them, I tried grinding down the nuts to fit inside a coupling, hoping they would hold it together. That didn't quite work. I tried JB Weld, but it just kind of pulled apart on me. So I ended up doing what I should have done in the beginning, and that is just to directly drill through the coupling, have the bolts both in, and have the tensioning screw hold both of those bolts in place. And that seemed to work, so now I can finish this up. So I have just about everything put back together, and it's working pretty much the way I intended. There is one or two small alignments I think I need to improve and adjust, but that's exactly why when you make something like this, you should be building it so that you can take it apart later on. All I have to do is take out that single screw, although I should have another one mounted right there. I can pull out the bed, and then I can make all the adjustments to the linkage underneath. So I'm gonna call this just about done. I'm gonna finish putting everything back together um, and test it out. I think it's gonna work. Well, it's done. And it's far from perfect, I'll be the first one to say that. Some of the linkage still needs a little bit of alignment and the metal top is still a tad bit flimsy, but everything works pretty close to the way I intended. And for most of the day-to-day -day cutting that I do, it'll work just fine. If I ever need to take it out, make an adjustment, I have one or two adjustment screws to take out and I can take out all the pieces that I just put in. Overall, it was successful. I'm able to adjust the height from the outside of the machine, and that's really about all I wanted out of it. I know that a lot of you are probably yelling at your screen and thinking that you could have done better, and you probably could have. You probably came up with solutions just watching this video that I hadn't even thought of, and I would love to hear about them, but make sure you reach out to me on the different socials because YouTube has my comments disabled. Otherwise, that's another build. That's done. On to the next one. Take care, subscribe, follow, check me out on Patreon. Every little bit helps. See you next time.